Hey guys, this is Alex Owari from ONG Tax and Accounting Services. So in this video, we're going to talk about the most common tax compliance checklist for foreign owned single member LLCs forming the US. And in this video, the focus is going to be single member LLCs formed in the state of Nevada. So if you formed your LLC in the state of Nevada, this video is for you and we can walk you through some of the most common tax compliance checklist. Before I start off, let me just give a word of caution out there or through a disclaimer that this video is for education and guidance purpose only and it's not meant to be a legal or tax advice to anyone. And so if you're listening to this and you need a legal or tax advice, you always have to consult a tax attorney or a CPA or an, an enrolled agent, give them the specifics of your situation and get a proper advice. Now, with the disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and look at the most common tax compliance checklist of foreign owners of single member LLCs formed in Nevada. As you can see from the first list we have here, it says that a single member LLC that is owned by a foreign person is required to file a pro forma 1120 and 5472. So this needs to be filed on time to avoid a 25k penalty and this forms are usually only required when the LLC has a reportable transaction with related parties. So the related parties could be the owner of the LLC himself or any other person or entity that's related to the owner or the LLC. The definition of related party is very broad and so you should always read the instructions and read the code to determine whether you have a related party transactions or not. Now. This number one also applies to any other single member LLCs owned by a foreign person and that formed in the US. So as long as you form the LLC in the US, number one may apply to you as if you have a reportable transaction. So this cuts across board. It really applies to a lot of foreign owners of single member LLC. And in the previous videos, I have explained the due dates and all of that. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, you can go back and watch the series. Now, the second item on this list is the need to file an annual report or a biannual report or franchise tax. So depending on the state where you formed your LLC, there may be some housekeeping issues that you need to take care of to make sure that your LLC is so active in the state that it was formed. So one of those things could be the annual report or the biannual report. Now in Nevada specifically, they have what we call the annual list and then the business license renewal. These two items are basically intertwined. They are, they, they are joined together. So you, when you file the annual list, you're also going to file for the business license. So I'll show you, we'll go back in there on the Nevada website and show you how this forms looks like and how you can file it yourself and what method you can use to file those forms. Now, the third item on this list is making sure that you're paying your registered agent on time. So if you have a contract with your registered agent and you're not keeping up with it, I would say this is a time to start keeping up with it. You always need to check to see if you and your registered agent are current on all things because the registered agent is there to be served some very important legal documents related to your company. So. If you form an LLC and you do not pay your registered agent on time, they could resign and could cause your LLC to not be in good standing. Sometimes they send the resignation to the Secretary of State and it could cause your LLC to be administratively dissolved. And so it's always important that you take care of your registered agent services and make sure you're current. In the previous videos, I have explained why a registered agent services is very important. So you should always look into it, make sure you're current. Okay, so now that we've cleared the three checklist items, let's look at number two and what it really says. So these are the major housekeeping within the state of Nevada that you need to keep up with. 
if you have a single member LLC that's located in Nevada. If you formed an LLC in Nevada, you need to know that Nevada requires you to file an annual listing of members or managers. And then it also requires you to, at the same time, renew your business license. Now, the filing fee for the annual list is one fifty, and then there's two hundred dollars for the business license renewal. When you combine this, you're paying close to three fifty dollars for keeping your LLCs active in Nevada. So the annual list of members, managers, and the business license renewal may be filed by mail. Once you complete the forms, you can mail it, you can fax it, or you can email. And I'm going to show you how this forms looks like in a bit. Now, let's go through the annual listing of members and when those due dates is. The due date is usually on or before the last day of the month in which the anniversary date of the LLC registration occurs. Now, this sounds like a lot <laughs> that we're saying, but it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So we're going to use an example of what all this means in terms of the due date. Okay. Now, for example, if you registered your LLC on April 15, 2021 in Nevada, okay, then your annual listing will be due each year by April 30, 2022. Now, April 30, because April 30 is the last day of the month in which the anniversary date of the LLC. So you follow the same pattern. It's going to be April 30, 2023. The following year is going to be April 30, 2024. Now, let's use another practical example just to make sure that you understand the concept. Let's assume you formed your LLC on December 15, 2021. Then your annual listing will be due each year by December 31st, 2022. And now, why is it December 31st? Because you could file these forms on or before the last day of the month in which the anniversary date of the LLC occurred. So because December 15, the last day of December is December 31st, you could actually file any time before December 31st or actually on December 31st. So we're using the same logic. Then it's going to be if you formed it in December 15, 2021, and it's going to be, you know, the last day that last deadline that you need to use is going to be december 31st 2022 december 31st 2023 december 31st 2024 so it's, it's pretty straightforward okay so we're going to move on to see how the annual listing of members and the business license renewal form looks like all right so to get to the Nevada website to retrieve those forms that you would use to file the annual listing of members and the business licenses. You're going to click here. And while you're here, you know, there's a whole lot of information here that sometimes you could get lost in, in these things. So you just go here and then you click annual or amended list filings. Now there's still a lot of information here, but then when you click on it, the first thing you see here is annual or amended list and state business license application. So here you can click on the complete package. This is the form. The state does a very good job to let you know what the instructions are. So you have to read the instructions very carefully. So for each entity that you have, and for this purposes, we're sticking with LLCs. So it's telling you, you need to list the members and everything. And then it also tells you that the listing fee is $150. The business license fee is $200. And then when you scroll, you keep scrolling, there's still more instructions. And then it also says that you may submit your filing at the office of the secretary of state by mail, fax, or email. So all the information is here for you. And this is the form. If you're filing an annual return, you check annual, you complete, you, you, you go all the way down to complete the annual listing and then also complete the business license. So this is all it is with Nevada. So I hope this video helps you out for those of you that have formed an LLC 
in Nevada and specifically for foreign owners of US LLC. So if this helps you out, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk some other time on the other videos. Bye.